Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Chino's Good Time in Gaming. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a covert op um, mission. Uh, it's one where I'm going to uh, steal a sample. This is the mission right here. Um, I'm already at the settlement and I have to I have to get a chemical process sample and it's inside of a sample containment unit and it furthermore um, warns you or lets you know uh, that this is a covert assignment and it will be you will fail the mission basically if you raise a set of alarms now um, I had made another video where um, I was doing a settlement raid in my um, not my Dominator suit, uh, my um, Maverick suit. And uh, I had killed everyone in the settlement, but before I did that, I disabled the alarm system in the uh, security area. And I was able to kill people without them calling for backup. Now, what we're going to do here is to make this mission a lot easier for us. And this is probably something that you would... I would recommend doing if you're going to do a covert mission, a covert op mission, is to disable the alarm system, because uh, there is a chance um, that on missions like this you'll still be able to kill people, or you might have to in order to get to certain areas, uh, so they don't be there's are not witnesses to your illegal activity, right? If you don't turn off the alarms, what's going to happen is someone is going to, as they're attacking you they're gonna they're gonna call for backup and once that happens y your mission is finished you're done and uh you'll fail it so the first thing we need to do is we need to uh, we need to uh disable the uh, settlement alarm so we need to grab our maverick suit for this mission it's probably the best one to use if you need to cut through a door this is the one this is the suit you need to use right here so, the best thing to do is to grab a, a level 3, the highest, level 3 security access. That's what I try to go for. Um, in this particular base, um, I believe the security area or where the alarm console is, is located, I believe, in the power plant. Um, not quite sure. I might be wrong, but generally it's in an area where there's a high level security access is needed. So let's look at the facility first. See, you don't see like a command center or a security area. And look, I uh, focus on the power center. Can't see anything there. This is a corridor, another corridor, the terminal. And here we go. See? Inside the power plant itself, the where the reactor is, you can't see nothing because you need level three access, right? So what I usually do is I go to the staff list and I look for someone who has uh, security level access three, like the technician here. This this person though, they're going to be inside of the reactor chamber, so they won't be easy to get to. Uh, you try to find someone else, like for example this researcher, but I believe that researcher is deep inside inside the um, industrial production plant or uh, facility on this base um, and usually they're in a laboratory and those areas are uh, restricted right so and there probably are security patrols so it makes it much harder to try to uh, what's it called to ca to clone the security access for this person here so what I'm gonna do is maybe I'll just go directly to the power plant, see if I can just cut the door open or see what kind of access I need to at least get to the reactor doors, right? Or where the reactor chamber is. So let's just focus on the technician. Let's go over there and hopefully the, uh, the outside doors don't need a super high level access. So all the way to the back door of the power plant. I need someone with uh, at least a level one 
because I think that's what I might need at least to get. Okay, there's a security patrol right there. See if I can have access. Yes. He has a level one access. If I get too close, they're gonna um, initiate their scan on me. I do have bounties on this guy, uh, on my character, to but no crimes here. Like no, but these guys don't are not. They, they haven't placed a bounty on my head here, so I'll register as clean for them. So just copy his access quickly. Oh, come on, come on. There you go. Okay, got it. Now that I picked up, uh, now that I cloned someone's access, uh, I'm marked as illegal. Okay, let's try to find a way into this power plant. Usually the side doors are the best. Oh, it's right there. Is it? Okay. And he's right there, so... Level one. If I cut my way through here, he's going to hear. Just wait for him to walk away a bit. All right, let's try to cut this. Overload the port. That's it. I'm at access. Entering pressurized environment. I don't know how, I don't know how many people are in this building. Let's charge up. Soup recharging. Soup fully charged. Alright. Oh wait a second, look at this. It's right here. Perfect with this. All right, so let's disable this. Uh, I'll leave this on. If I turn this one off, then you won't need uh, any authorization scans at all. But I believe you still need the access, uh, the level access to uh, work the um, the containment unit, the number one containment unit that I need in order to steal what I'm here for. So, oh, hello. Level three. I can steal it from her. All right. Perfect. Right now. Security profile closed. Completely oblivious. <laughs> All right. Um. So, containment unit one. Let's go. So, facility. That's going to be an industrial production. Uh, containment unit one. Where is it? Where is it? Sample containment unit one. Yes. All right. So. Now that I've disabled... Oh, boy. Uh, let's be careful. Now that I've disabled the alarms, uh, any machine that has um, a device that opens up usually will, especially if it's in within a restricted area, will release an alarm within the building, the building that you entered. So by turning off the alarms in the event that you're going to steal something from uh, some sort of device that is within a restricted area, uh, the, the alarms won't go off. Oh my goodness. Okay. So hang on. Watch this trick. Throw your web. Stick to the rules from now on. Okay. What I did there is when she did the scan on me, I pointed my weapon at her or on cock my weapon up. So what happens is that interrupts her 
scanning animation or whatever it is and she warns you not to do it again so I only have that one chance to um, to interrupt her like that if I try to do it again she will open fire on me and I don't think this is the one oh, it's right there it is right here see he is gonna notice And that security guard is probably going to come in the room and go back and forth. They, they, she's, she's patrolling. See? She's patrolling in that foyer over there and coming into the room. So both of them might have to go. Alright. And because I have to kill them both, I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to be wanted for murder. Because uh, these guys aren't uh, criminals, right? And it's going to hit me with probably uh, an Oriority. Which is fine. Which is totally fine. Because, you know, this is an illegal mission. So if uh, you're okay with having some Noriety on you, it's alright. Every point of Noriety is two hours of game time. In game time. Before uh, one point of it drops off. Just making people aware. And... The one, one thing, one thing about these, oh, hello, may I help you, uh, no, see, these things here, takes a little while to open, so you have to stick around the area usually, and see the progress bar, once it, once it reaches uh, the end there, this will open, and you can steal the sample, or whatever there is in it, thing is, he's going to notice, He's patrolling as well, going back, you know, on his uh, on his tablet there. So he's going to notice when that opens, and he's going to be suspicious. And when he sees you, he's going to open fire on you because he's going to be on alert. And him being on alert will alert the security guard. So this is why those two need to go, most likely. But I've disabled the alarm, so I'm not really worried about anyone calling for backup. So It's just really a matter of waiting, and uh, you just have to be patient. You know, I could get rid of him now. Someone probably heard that for sure. <laughs> yeah, a few. Yeah, a few people heard that. And they knocked my shields up. Someone else heard that too. I think. That thing should be almost almost open. It's almost ready. Once I get it, I'm out of here. It's almost done. So slow. <laughs> Look how slow that thing is. Oh, what was that? Ah, uh, that's not going to do nothing. Take it. There we go. Out of here. Walk out like I own the place. You feel no energy. That's it. No one else really is alerted. Uh, oh, no, yeah, he was alerted. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. The life of a pirate. All right. So, that is uh, basically how you do a covert op mission. Um, there's nothing much to it, just uh, requires, requires a little ingenuity from you. Uh, knowing where to, what to disable, where to go, uh, where to, what to clone, uh, I, sorry, what security level access to clone and... Uh, 
and just a little patience once you uh, reach where your objective is. And now, once you're done, you return to your ship and you can just take off. And that's the mission. Okay. And I think I have another one and uh, that one I'll probably show you on the next time on Chino's Good Time in Gaming. Thank you, everyone. Uh, any of you who've been watching this video, I really appreciate it. Uh, have a good day, and I'll see you next time.